Okay, so this is uh, part two. As you can see from my uh, previous video, basically I've just added some more trees uh, around surrounding the um, bandit camp. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is this tree here. You know, it doesn't really look like it's, uh, you know, it sort of looks like it's flush. So again, you can go and just add a bit of a drop shadow. Um, I don't like using global light. Uh, basically, I like to have it vertically above in most cases. Um, that's a bit too dark. So again, we'll diffuse that and then I'll just lighten it up a little bit. Um, and as you can see, you know, it now has, you know, hey, it's looking like it's over the edge of there. Um, so now let's add, you know, something a little bit besides trees. Uh, right here, so again, this is sort of like a hill here because, again, this drops down. This this technically is level with this spot, um, but this is not level with that because it sort of drops down here. So some other things we want to do is we want to add a little bit of a gradient there. And again, we use overlays or cliffs. Um, as I originally started calling them, but in this case, uh, they're grass cliffs. And again, you can find these uh, if you go, you know, Dungeony uh, grass overlay. Um, and so there's one. Let's uh, rush. Let's try shadow overlay. Uh, so again they're not coming up but you, you basically got to do your Google uh, let's get rid of grass um, so there's there's more of them coming up um, and then so there's some hard edges these these are more of a cliff rather than grass uh, um, but you can, you can find them if you do your Google searches so again here I'm just adding that and you can already see whoops you know it sort of adds a 3d effect to it so what I want to do is, again, I'm going to move this under all my trees. Um, because again, your grass is below your trees. And so then I'm going to move that over there. And I'm actually just going to resize this. Um, you know, so, hey, I'm getting a hard edge. You know, there's a little bit of a drop down there. Um, so you can see sort of that. And then we're actually going to just paste that layer again. And we're going to do the same thing over here. And I'll just grab a, another one. So again, there's one, there's one. Um, I've got a bunch of them. Here's uh, some more grass edge. Uh, and again, I'll have a tutorial on how uh, to do this uh, later on. So again, what we're going to do is, this is a little bit inset. So again, it drops down, you know. There's a path here that goes down to... Uh, the trail out and over here so again how do you sort of add that drop down um, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a layer because um, again I don't like usually painting on existing layers and so I'm going to increase this brush a bit and so we'll just put a little bit of a shadow you know and it sort of looks like it's going down there and then we'll do the same here you know hey there's a little bit of a slope going down you know so again what we'll then do is since this is basically the same level there's probably not any grass down there so again I'll just get onto my overlay map and say well let's just get rid of that grass it's all either dirt or mud um, in my case I'm actually going to switch it over to mud um, so again I'll have to hide the dirt I'm just going to increase this flow a little bit so I don't have to keep going over it Um, so there again, you know, you've got your mud going into there, and maybe we'll actually just have the water come up a little bit more as well, or the muddy water as well on there. Okay, so again, I've got my little sort of island there. Now again, you know, this is a bandit camp, so there's lots of people around, um, so I want to get rid of, you know, there's dirt patches where they're always sitting or camping. Um, you know, it's not all nice grassy pastures and stuff. So again, I can get rid of 
just lightly going over different areas again imperfections are nice uh, the path down to the water that's pretty well worn because they're always getting water and this will just clear out so again just sort of getting a flow going there okay um, so again now we want to add let's say a fireplace um, so that's uh, something I didn't have and as you can see I've got you know 12,000 items just in this folder alone um, and like I said there's tons out there uh, and right now I just haven't organized this stuff yet um, so looking for my fireplaces and uh, so there's some fire that's a lava pool I know I've got them okay here we go uh, uh, let's try actually let's go this guy okay so there's an empty fire it's currently not burning and it's like wait that's that's too big so again we'll just you know because again if you look at my scale um, you know if I bring it up to the scale that's more than you know that's a six foot round fireplace that's a pretty big fire pit so again we're just gonna scale that down a little bit more um, and again that's a little bright I expect uh, fire pits to be you know covered in charcoal and stuff We'll again move that above my other layers. So here I'm just going to uh, put a, another layer over that. Uh, or I, I could do two things. I could put a layer of that, or I could just darken that layer. Um, you know, just. And usually when you darken it, it starts getting too much, so I also decrease the contrast uh, a lot of times with that. Um, so that's there. So now we need to go back again there's where I place my fire it's like well when they're around the fire there's not much grass going around there so let's just get rid of the grass you know clean the grass out so then let's go um, whoops too far uh, we'll go into trees and so here I've got a bunch of different trees and here's some driftwood Oop, it's a image I can't load um, so let's try this guy oops so he's got a white background I think I mentioned something earlier about back white backgrounds you want things with transparent backgrounds which means I got to basically clean that guy up um, so there's another log um, so right there there we go okay so there's my log you know you got to have something to sit around when you're at the fire campfire so again we'll rescale that and again that's you know a bit too bright so we'll just go over here and darken that again I want to decrease the uh, contrast a little bit um, and give it there and we'll actually stretch this out a little bit just uh, make it a little bit longer okay um, now the other thing we want to do is sort of add some rocks because uh, again it's it's a messy area and so that's another thing with battle maps is the little imperfections or as, as I mentioned you know it's just the little nuances so obviously that rocks is way too big we're gonna decrease it down um, that's still even a bit too big we'll put it there um, and go like that uh, we'll get another rock uh, you know again uh, these are all just you know rock um, and you can find tons of rocks, tons of rocks. I mean, they got lots of rocks. Uh, you just download them. Uh, so let's get this guy again. He's going to be a big boulder, way too big. Um, now I, I like uh, a little bit more with the shadow overlay. You know, let's hey put that as right there. Actually, we'll put him on this side. Uh, and again, maybe spin him around. And again, so. If now we go into there, it's like, well, that doesn't look natural. So again, I'll use my shadow over or my overlay, and I'll just hide the part that's buried in the dirt. Okay, so that's coming out of the side there, and that still seems a little bright. So we're just going to go down, maybe decrease the brightness of that. I guess we'll leave the contrast not much um, let's take a look at that again eh, that's okay um, I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow to that you know give it a little depth so again go to my blending options drop shadow there we go that looks a little bit better again I don't like using uh, 
most times I don't like uh, using light, but in this case I really don't care about the light over here, so I'll just put the angle at this so it comes off of that side. And just adjust that slightly. And there you go. So then we'll add, we'll get one more rock. Uh, it looks like a cool rock. And we're going to add this over by the trail. So again, just take this guy. And I'm going to leave this guy a little bit bigger. And the reason for is, again, I'm going to put an overlay there. And then I'm just going to bury this guy in the mud. So he's sort of just coming right out of the mud. You know, half buried there. Okay, and we'll get another log. Let's go back to my wood. Um, actually, I think I have more logs. I found I wasn't having very good logs, so... Um, actually, I know where there's a log. Uh, unpacked, back in trees. And again, I just find these all um, over the place, you know, just from Googling the stuff. Uh, very few I've created myself. So again, we're going to put this down here. Um, that side looks a little bit cooler. So again, we're going to go there. We sort of want that buried into the dirt. So again, all I'm going to do is hide this. So he's sort of natural coming out of the dirt. And I could actually move him a little bit. So he's like buried in the mud, half buried in the mud. Um, so again, where's another tree? Uh, so this was a nice piece of driftwood. And again, it's transparent. I think I actually had to clean this guy up. Um, I probably should break these out because every time I never use both of them. So again, uh, this was a search for driftwood. And we'll go here. Now again, if I was doing this long term, uh, I would probably be labeling all these so there's, they're easier to find. Otherwise, uh, it gets a little complicated trying to find things. So again, we'll put this guy over here. And we'll put him right there. He's way too bright for mud swamp. So again, just decrease that down. Again, add my nice overlay because he's not floating on top of the water. And now my overlay, I just start putting this in. So if you go here, this branch is sitting in the water. This branch is down in the mud. And this branch sticks down into the mud. And we'll actually put this guy down into the mud. This guy just buried in the mud, and we'll actually, because he doesn't have a drop shadow, I'll actually give him a drop shadow. So again, turn off global light, uh, and just spread that out a little bit. Okay, that's too much, so I got to diffuse it some more, and then I'll just decrease. Uh, I think I had it better earlier. Up, increase this guy again. Three. So again, it's it's just playing around with these different values. Um, I've never taken a art uh, course, so again, it's just things I've learned, tutorials on the web and stuff like that. So again, we'll just maybe throw him off to the side. So again, when we Look at our map, you know, we're starting to get some nice detail, and we're getting, you know, some nice things. So I think I'm going to add another rock. Um, yeah, it's always tough picking rocks, I don't know. Oops, wrong paste. So again, here's the paste. This, this area needs a little bit. So again, here's a hill going down. So I will just resize that slightly. And then we're going to add a mask. And we're going to bury him a little bit. Because he's coming out of the dirt. And 
Okay. So as you can see, it's starting to look like, you know, basically a swamp encampment um, going from there. Uh, I'll be back with another tutorial to finish this up, and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching.